Okay, hello and welcome to another messy Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. Now I think we need to clear this mess away, don't you? So I'll just wave my magic wand. There, gone. Well, people say I sound like Harry Potter, so I thought I'd do a magic trick. Anyway, going to be making a guitar preamp. Now, I know I made one, two or three videos back, but it really didn't have enough gain. And although plugging the guitar into a microphone input did kind of, sort of work, it wasn't the best solution because on some microphone inputs it sounded very dull. For instance, when I plugged it into my computer's microphone input, there was just, well, almost no high frequencies at all. And I think the reason for that is because it wants a high impedance input. And that may sound kind of counterintuitive because usually with high impedance devices, when you plug them into something that's too low of an impedance, it's the low frequencies that suffer. Okay, so we've got the guitar connected directly to one channel on the mixer. So let's just give it a bit of a strum. Alright, sounding good. But what if we introduce a little bit of an extra load than just what one channel of the mixer provides? So I've soldered a one kilo ohm resistor across this jack. And on the other end is a plug. So let's plug this in. Take two. Alright, so we've got our extra load connected. So that's a one kilo ohm resistor in parallel with the guitar's output. So let's just give it a strum again. Yeah, that's much duller. Also, I had to turn the output up because it's going to be a bit lower, but that's to be expected. Okay, I let the gears in my head turn for a while and I've come up with this. So, this is my preamp that I'm going to build. Now, for those of you who want to know what happened to the previous preamp, well, I did put it in this box, thinking it would have enough gain, but it doesn't, so I'm going to reuse this, um, you know, I'm going to reuse this metal box, but I'm going to take all the insides out and wire all this stuff in there. So let's just go through a little overview of the circuit. So you might have noticed that I've put a switch here which says closed mic and open guitar. So when the switch is open, the signal goes first through this 100k resistor, which I might actually bump up to 220k. I might even make that 1 meg ohm. I haven't really decided yet, but 100k for now. And then that goes into our tube, which is a two-stage amplifier. And when the switch is closed, this resistor is shorted out, so the microphone just connects straight to the tube's grid. And this part here, I've decided to make a little thing where I can short this cathode to ground if I want to, so that's what that switch there does. So with that switch open, it will have a little bit less gain in the low end, but the high end will be relatively unaffected. And this is the power supply. So I've got a transformer here, stepping down the voltage just ever so slightly, then it goes through this rectifier tube, and then into this capacitor where it gets smoothed and then smoothed in more by this inductor in this other capacitor which I haven't put the values in so I better just do that right now this one was 470 microfarad and this one was 68 microfarads so we get a nice smooth 300 volts DC out there and I've tested that and there's absolutely no perceivable ripple coming out of there so you know we're pretty much set. So I've got 6.3 volts AC to power the filament of this rectifier tube, but for the actual amplifier tube, where we don't want any kind of outside influence of hum, these filaments are going to be powered off a separate DC supply. 
I'm just going to power those off a wall wart supply and that should be just fine. So that's enough rabbiting, I think it's about time to build this thing. Okay, so the wiring of the preamp is now complete. And yes, I am going to insulate all those high voltage wires. I'm not going to leave it like that, it's just showing you in this video. If you're wondering what this wire that's just flapping around in the breeze is, and yes, I hurt my finger, so that's put my practice behind a little bit. That's the ground wire, which is just going to go onto the side of the case to ground it. And here is our high voltage DC supply. I actually built this a few weeks ago, so I don't need to worry about that. Need to secure up this neon light a little bit so you can tell when it's on or off. I've built it, and we have a problem. It sounds good. But, can you hear all that hiss? Yes, this thing is very hissy. Just to prove that, I'll turn off the high voltage. You may have noticed no more hiss and no more sound. So, so yeah, it works. It's got a nice tone and everything. It's just got a lot of hiss. So let's try another idea. Let's go solid state instead. So this is the preamp that I have in mind. It's a very simple circuit. And I've even got a way to power this off a single rail power supply or other a way to convert a single rail, rail power supply to dual rail with this circuit right here using a triple five timer. And the beauty of this little power circuit is that it all shares the same common ground, so we don't have to worry about virtual grounds or anything like that. And here we are. And I gotta say, this works really well. And here it is in action. <laughs> Let's just do that one more time while adjusting the gain control, just to prove it's this thing working. I'm also recording directly from that preamp onto the computer, so I will splice that into the video. So you're not hearing the crappy sound output from this thing. Um, it's the boombox that's crap, not the guitar. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider giving me a big thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And leave a comment if you have one. And as always, until next time, goodbye.